In the previous video, we learned how to implement pagination with React Query. In this video, let's learn how to implement infinite queries. For our example, we're going to work with a load more button rather than loading more when the user scrolls to the end of the screen. Similar to the previous video, I have already set up some code to get us started. In the components folder, I have created a file called infinitequeries.page.js. Within the file, we have the data fetching logic using React Query and a component to render the fetched list of colors. We have useQuery and Axios imported at the top. The fetcher function makes a request to slash colors. Within the component, we have use query with colors as the query key and fetch colors as the function. We destructure the different values like is loading, is error, data, and use them to render either the loading text, the error message, or the list of colors. The component is included in app.js under the path rq infinite. If we head to the browser and navigate to localhost 3000 slash rq hyphen infinite, you can see the list of eight colors being displayed. Our goal now is to have a load more button and display two additional colors on every click. Let's learn how to do that. Step one, we need to make changes to our use query hook. To cater to infinite queries, React Query provides another hook called use infinite query. So import that instead of use query and call it. Step two, we focus on the fetcher function. Use infinite query injects a couple of values into the fetcher function. For our scenario, we just need the one value, which is page param. I'm going to destructure it and assign a default value of one. Page param here sort of refers to the page number. We want to view the first page by default. So the initial value is one. Now, similar to the previous video, on the endpoint, we will set question mark, limit as two, so underscore limit is equal to two, and we're going to set underscore page is equal to the page param. But the question now is how do we change this page param to fetch more data? For that, we pass in an option to use infinite query. So add the third argument, which is an object, and the property is called get next page param. This is a function which receives two parameters, last page and pages. We don't need this last page param, so I'm going to add an underscore. Pages here refers to an array of API responses where each response corresponds to fetching two colors at a time. Now within the function, what we have to determine is how to increase the page param value. Since we have eight colors and two colors per page, we have four pages in total. So we can add if pages dot length is less than four, return pages dot length plus one. This is just a more complex way of increasing the page number. However, if we have reached the fourth page, there is no more data to display and we return undefined. Ideally, your logic would be driven by the API but our JSON server API isn't that flexible. So we make use of hard-coded values. Now what this get next page param does is give us a property called has next page, which will be true or false 
based on whether you return undefined or not. So the structure has next page and use it to disable a load more button. So after the div tag, we're going to add a button that says load more. And this is going to be disabled if has next page is false. Now the question is, what should we call when we click this button? Well, for that, React Query again provides a function. So apart from has next page, we use fetch next page and assign it as the on click handler for the load more button. So on click, fetch next page. Finally, we can destructure two more values is fetching and is fetching next page and use them to show a loading indicator. I'm going to add this at the end of the JSX we have. So a div tag, curly braces, is fetching and not is fetching next page. Now if this is the case, we show fetching as the text. If not, we don't show anything. And that is pretty much it. Let's save the file and head to the browser. You can see that we now have an error. And that is because the use infinite query hook returns data in a different way compared to use query. Instead of data, we now get access to pages. So data.pages.map. And this is going to give us access to group and index. When we are returning, we're going to return a React fragment where key is equal to the index. And within the fragment, we're going to iterate over each group, which will then give us access to the data. So group.data.map, which will give us the color and we can now render the h2 tag color.id, color.label and on the h2 tag we specify key is equal to color.id. If we now head back to the browser, on page load you can see that we now have just two colors being displayed. In the dev tools, in the data explorer, we can see pages as well as page params. Under pages, we have API response for page param is equal to one. When I click load more, you can see we have the next two colors fetched and displayed. In DevTools, pages now contains response from both the requests. So the length is two. Page param or page number is also set to two. Load more again. Pages length is three. And one more time, pages length is four. But now the load more button is disabled since pages length is four. And if that is the case, we return undefined from get next page param. This will set has next page to false, which is why our button is disabled. And now that we have seen the data returned by use infinite query, data.pages and the group should make more sense to you now. So this is pretty much how you implement infinite queries with React Query using the use infinite query hook and the get next page param function. Has next page and fetch next page along with the fetching flags are what you need for the JSX. Alright, with that we have covered the important features when it comes to fetching data with React Query. Next, let's focus on posting data using React Query. Thank you all for watching and if you're finding the videos helpful, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one.